to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakat Kadash. I double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, who rule well, and honor and salutation to those of you who are of the hopeful elect and are out there teaching the word uh, in sincerity and truth. All right, so this is a. Uh, as we always say, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it a uh, uniform to what the brothers Diana says. Uh, yeah, this is a portion of the GMS camp. You know, we're coming back with our our weekly address. Um, so we, we we was kicking it, man. We was talking about a lot um, before we got started here. But one thing that stuck out into my mind the most was uh, uh, his brother here said that he was uh, dealing with a a young lady that asked about grace, and uh, through that we kind of you know went down the rabbit hole, as we say and um, went into a bunch of different things, but we can start there. Um, we, we started talking about uh, Christianity, but let's, uh, somebody, somebody look up the word grace, and then we do like a, a pool at a Bible search for, for, for the word grace too. So that way we can pull up as many scriptures. As, um, I see one, um, definition. Yeah, let's read the definition first, yep. This is uh, from the Mer Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Yep. It says, uh, grace, unmerited, divine assistance given to human right. for the for their regeneration or sanctification right uh -huh. it also says a virtue coming from the most high right. a state of sanctification enjoyed through divine assistance right. it says approval favor right. mercy pardon a special favor privilege right. disposition to or an act or instance of kindness courtesy or clemency right that's that's what we're looking for mm -hmm. the clemency courteousness right the heavenly father in this in this captivity has allowed us the time period to to get to a state of of of, of uh, redemption right he's given us that time to get to the state of redemption and um, that's what grace is the, the allotted time to get yourself right now uh, get, what's that scripture we were talking about earlier I think it's uh the Matthew, Matthew 5 and 48. Be perfect as my father in heaven. Is that Matthew 5 and 48? Or 38? It might just, I think it's in Matthew 5, though, if I'm not mistaken. I got to put Ephesians. Sure, sure. This sure. is Ephesians 2 and yeah. 8. Yeah. It says, For by grace are you saved through right, faith. Bro, right. And that not of yourself, right. it is the gift of your Right, it's a gift of the Lord, man. It's a gift of the Lord. And, and 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 grace is not not to be used as a as a as a, a reason to do the wrong things, right? Because that's what Christians do, this, and this is the reason why this young lady was asking this brother the question, yep. because they want grace, because they don't see a, a, they don't see a way to to work towards getting better, right? And the way that you get to that is just being in a penitent spirit. Mm -hmm. That's the way you get to. Uh, being uh, being uh, redeemable. When 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 go to go to uh, Matthew. I think it's I think it's Matthew. But if it isn't, um, I'll just quote it here uh, where it says, uh, "Meat for repentance. Go bring uh, for meat, meat for repentance." Is that Matthew three? Where John John said, uh, who, "Who who warned you of the things to come? Go break off uh, things. Meat for repentance." Um, yes, um, Matthew three and eight. Yeah, hit me with that. Whoever, whoever. Yeah, uh, Matthew uh, chapter three verse eight. Right. And he reads, uh, uh, matter of fact, yes, almost for seven. Yep. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, yep. he said unto them, "O generation of vipers, who I warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Right. Bring forth their fourth fruit, meat for repentance. Right. That that uh, fruit, meat for repentance, or, or or being meat for repentance is is you." You being in a repentant state, right? Because what, one of the main problems with the scribes and the Pharisees the Lord had was their hypocrisy, right? Because they were telling people, do this, do that, but they themselves weren't doing those things, right? So so being being in the in the repentant spirit is to say, like, I, I know I'm wrong. I know I know I'm living the wrong way, or I've lived the wrong way, and I and I'm and I'm submitted to the Lord. That's what grace is about, to to, to get yourself to a contrite spirit to get your spirit it really like people think of Christianity Christianity makes people happy but really really your 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 commitment to the Lord should bring you to the lowest point in your life it should bring you to the lowest state 
of mind in your life because that's what the heavenly father can work with he can he can he can build you up when you when you've allowed yourself to be contrary he said um uh they that um uh, th those that are uh, first shall be last, and those that are last shall be first. Shall be first mm -hmm. Right. So the, the the lower you 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 get yourself, the more the heavenly Father can work with you now. Right. When you're in that contrite spirit, when you're in that repentant spirit, when you when you don't even when you're too shamed to even look into the heavens and you beat on your your breast and say, Lord, forgive me, a sinner. Right. You got something? I got something real quick. Okay, hit me. Uh, Psalm fifty-one, <laughs> of verse uh, verse five. Behold, I was shipping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Right. Purge me with his soft, and I shall be cleansed. Right. And wash me, and I shall be watered in snow. Right. That 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 you 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 you're a sinner. You're you're in a weak state, right? Mm -hmm. The acknowledgement of that is is where that 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 reach for the Father is, man. The acknowledgement of that low. Uh, a state of being right and that's what grace is for that's what that time period is for so that you can be broken all the way down so that the lord can can lift you up a new person a new body uncorruptible as it says in uh first corinthians 15 chapter i, I got something real quick yep. um, this is a prayer of azariah one and i'm gonna start at uh verse 14 it says mm -hmm. for we O lord are become less than any nation mm -hmm. we kept under this day mm -hmm. in all the world because of our sin mm -hmm. Me um start start at the ninth verse all right this is prayer of azariah 1 and verse 9 it says and thou didst deliver us into the hands of this lawless is, enemies yep. mm -hmm. most hateful forsakers of the most high yep. into an unjust right. king why did why did he why did he put us into this captivity was it to be happy no to die to to, to 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 be broken down mm -hmm. to call on him to call on him yeah. right the scripture yeah. says that he didn't uh, bring us into captivity or to destroy us right because we turned him right right you know, right, you know, right. and that's 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 what the purpose of it is yeah. the function of this let me say it this way the, this captivity has a function that's right mm -hmm. it's not just it's not just oh Esau's a bad guy no yeah. the, the the reason why the Esau has been allowed to do what he did was to as a as a punishment for us yeah. and what is what does punishment do punishment corrects if i may right? if i may elder there's a lesson that we need to learn in, in, in order for us to move forward right that's right right that's hey, right I, I got one real quick yep. okay. uh second chronicles chapter 6 verse 24 and if thy people israel be put to the worst before the enemy because they have sinned against thee and shall return and confess thy name and pray and make supplication right. before thee in this house right then hear thou from the heavens and forgive the sin of right, thy people right. Israel. Right. When you when you when you when you're making supplication, right? You're you're begging. Mm -hmm. And and to 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 beg, you know what? You have to be in a low mind state. Mm -hmm. Like you like I think think of the time like think of the people that are at the intersections and they're and they're begging for change. How low are they in their life? Mm -hmm. To to beg, to make supplication to someone is one, an acknowledgement that they're above you. But then, but but two, a, an acknowledgement of your low estate, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you needed some help. And you need help. Right. We need a physician. That's right. Yeah, that's and right. that's what grace is for. Uh, the scriptures say this: if you if, if a brother can find it, um, using using liberty as a cloak of maliciousness. Yes. Oh, that's what that's what Christians do, man. Uh, they use they use their 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 grace period to just do whatever they want. Oh, all you have to do is pray over. That's that. That's good. That's good food. Like that we were saying earlier, though, right? But that, but that grace period was for us to be broken. First Peter, yeah. you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, remember, I'll start started previous verse. Uh, First Peter chapter two, verse fifteen. For so is the will of the Most High that with well doing he may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. Mm -hmm. Verse sixteen. As free. And not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, right. but as the servants of the Most High. That's right. You don't you don't use liberty and grace to do what you want to do. You have to understand the function of this captivity, and the function of it was to break us down so that we would be in a repentive state, right? right. What you look at the Book of Judges. What was the pattern? We didn't we didn't get sent a judge until we were in that. Please, please, Lord, take us out of here. Right. Same thing when we got taken out of Egypt, right? He's, what did he say? I, I heard my people. That's right. What was he hearing? Their supplication. 
They're Christ. That's what that, that's what the grace period was for. You got a lot of pride. Pride, pride, what does the scripture say? Pride goes before fall, right? And this is what causes us to go off. So that pride had to be bro broken out of us, man, as a, as a nation. To be the lowest nation on earth. To be the, the, the give me a uh, limitation uh, 2 and, and 15. Can I mention something real quick? Yeah, yeah. Because um, like you had mentioned about, uh, you know, the Lord hand the cards. Um, you read uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Mm. It says, Mark then that sign that cross. That's right. All right. So that that's person right. being marked, which is the, uh, the, uh, the mark of exemption, that's uh, uh, them being uh, uh, repentant. Uh, yeah. uh, the Lord chooses basically giving them mercy. That's right. All right. Because they understand what's going on. They understand right. the yeah. scenarios and what's right. playing out in front of them. Right. Yeah. They acknowledge that the fact that there is, they know there is a, a higher power, they need some kind of salvation to save them. That's right. Let me, let me read this real quick before we take Limitation. Romans mm -hmm. 6 and 1, it says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin mm -hmm. that grace may, may abound? God right. forbid. Right. Right. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer right. therein? Right. That's right. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Shai Mashiach yep. were baptized into his death? That's Therefore, right. we are buried with him by baptism into death. That's right. right? Your, his, his death. Uh, shouldn't make you joyful. Exactly. When I when I when I read about his prayer to the Lord when he was when he was that was um, some painful stuff going on. Yeah, when I was when I I remember one day I was at work and I was on break and I was reading the scripture and I started crying. This yeah. that's how you should that that should be the mode it puts you in. Mm -hmm. A repentive, sorrowful, contrite spirit, man. Like you said bottom of the barrel right like what can i do to go up right what should i do right. to go up That's and you can only go to the father it says that light as christ was raised up from the dead by mm. the glory not christ but yahweh shot was yeah. raised up from the dead by the glory of the father even so we also should walk in newness of life that's right that's right but we, we should have to be broken first man. Man. Yeah. you gotta be broke the lord the, the, uh was that uh i always forget this i think it's i think it's hebrews the second chapter I'm not sure where it says that uh, uh, he was made perfect. The suffering. Yeah. The suffering. There's one in the fifth chapter, but I think that one that I'm looking for in particular is the second chapter. I'm not sure. Uh, but just but just to quote it, right? Uh -huh. He was he that that's where that's how he was elevated. Yep. He was elevated because he suffered first. Mm -hmm. That's what this captivity was for to, to break us down, man. That's what the grace period has been for, not to. Not to make you feel good about yourself. You got, you got. One thing I wanted to talk about, if I if I could say something. One thing I wanted to talk about. You had this guy who was in his apartment complex, fucking with with some. I don't know if he was Hamite or Jake, but he was fucking calling him a nigger and telling him to go back to Africa and all kinds of shit. And he ended up getting arrested. But there was a mob of people outside. I don't know if you have you heard about this yet. It was recent, right? Yeah, this was like today. The last last couple of days. And um, they were throwing shit at him as he was being, take, uh, being taken to the police car, uh, hitting him with shit, right? And I, I, I was saying to myself, okay, now what? Now what do you do, right? Like, what, what comes after that? Okay, you, 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 you hit the guy with a soda. Now what? What, 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 did, what happens to you now? So, pe people are obsessed with, with, with saying how wrong someone else is. Mm. And for those people, they don't understand why we're here. They're they're too busy talking. The Lord said. The Lord said, um, "I will I will punish the fruit of the uh, the uh, I will punish the, the the stout heart, right? He will punish them. So he's going to deal with them for what they've done. What about you? What what about what about the nation of Israel? What what about us acknowledging what we did wrong?" Right, right. Until you acknowledge your offenses, right? But they, but they're so concerned about about uh, what somebody else is doing. Oh, the uh, Edomites say we go to the white man. Yeah. The white man. Oh, this racist white guy was in the front. Let's let's go down there and mob him. Okay. Now he's arrested. He's going to jail for whatever he did wrong. What about you? C calling somebody else wrong don't fix you. That's not how you acknowledge your offenses. Mm. You see, oh. we were we were brought here. That's what that's what grace is. Grace was the time to get because because you th you say 
Because I always, I always used to say it like this. Grace was the period of time where we were, we were allotted to get it right. But you're not going to get it right. You're in the flesh. So what, what, what was the time period for? To break it down. Because the getting right is being in a repentive spirit. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, Psalms 34, verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are that are of a broken heart. That's right. And save as such. Read that as again, bro. You have huh? to read that again, bro. Huh? Huh? Psalms 34, verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Right. And save of such as be of a contrite spirit. That's it, man. And the church. The church Christians, they don't have that spirit on them at all. Right. And they all rejoicing in there, Proud. singing them songs. Right. And they and they carry themselves with a I'm better than you yeah, spirit. High esteem. Yeah. I'm better than it's you. Weird. Right? I, I saw it with my own eyes this past week. Christians thinking that they're better than everybody else. But they ain't shit. Because you ain't you 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 don't acknowledge what you do wrong. You don't acknowledge your part in it. You know? Oh, it's a lot, y'all, because it goes back to how we have to we give supplication. This is a verse before that. It's a lot here. Um, Psalm thirty-four, verse seventeen: The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Right. And the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken do you know, heart. Do you know when you when you cry? I, I learned something about about crying. When I was younger, I could cry at a drop of a dime. And, 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 and a lot of it was uh, was pretentious, right? But since I've gotten older, it's harder for me to cry, mm -hmm. right? So you, when you when you're actually crying, when it's a real cry, you you are in a low estate. Yeah. I was what? Uh, uh, forgive me for, for rambling. I just want to tell this testimony real quick. I was um. I was I was watching this video. It was I, I told the story before. This guy. Is a he's like a karate teacher, and what they do is they they take the kid and he, he goes through this this strenuous thing that he has to go through in order to get to the next belt, right? And they get this little award and and the kid he was sitting there talking to the guy. He's like, yeah, I wish my dad could be here. And he's like, you know what? I know how you feel. I wish your dad could be here too. But look at all these men that you got here to lift you up and make you better and and all this stuff, bro. And I was watching this, bro. I started crying, bro, and then the cry. It was, a, it was weird because as I was crying, I wasn't even thinking about that thing anymore. I was thinking about me. I was like, damn, I'm, you know, I am fucking up. And I, and I started thinking, that's a, you, you have to be in a low state to be crying. The Lord Yahweh Shai asked him, and he said, can you, can you just wait, wait, wait right here with me for a minute? He was crying. Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't like, he wasn't praying. I mean, I'm getting emotional. He wasn't, he wasn't praying in and just, just, just speaking words. He was, he was emotional. Yeah, he was, he was. You know, the scriptures say that the Lord wept, right? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you, when you, know how you sound a grown man when he's weeping? That's a horrible sound. Yeah. That's the 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 state of mind. He, he was broken all the way down, and this is why the heavenly Father is going to glorify him. I, I got yeah. This is uh, going back to the prayer of Azariah, one and fifteen. One is in 16, it says, Neither is there at this time prince or prophet or leader or burnt offering or sacrifice or oblation or incense or place to sacrifice before thee to find mercy. Nevertheless, in a contrite heart right. and humble spirit, let us be accepted. That's, that's how you get accepted, man. Ooh. That's the getting it right. Wow. Being being made to be in a in a low spirit, man. And you got you got you get people who try to avoid that low feeling at all cost. They they they, <laughs> they Mike even, Tyson, you know how Mike Tyson do that size yeah, yeah, yeah. They they Mike oh, Tyson in oh, this the, 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 the um the, go to uh Sirach the second chapter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the, uh Sirach two verse one. Yeah. And he says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, right. prepare thy soul for petition. Yep. Set thy heart aright and consider in Right. What did, what do you how are you setting your heart aright? By being contrite, man. Right, keep going. Set thy thine heart aright and constantly endure, and make that his in time of trouble cleave unto him right. and do part of the way that thou me has been increased at the last end. Right, you increase at the last end after you've been broken all the way down to nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The the gold doesn't become yeah. a, a, a beautiful brick 
until it's been melted into liquid. It's yeah. liquefied. Mm -hmm. So that all those impurities and the dross can, can come to the surface. They, they, they do that scraping and then they let the gold cool and then it becomes a pure brick of gold. Keep uh -huh. going. Uh, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou change to a low state. Right. For when you are changed to a, a low estate. That's that's how you become accepted. Not being proud, not being arrogant, not using your grace uh, to sin, not using it as a cloak from a maliciousness, but to make you low. The, the acknowledgement of sin is to go, damn, I what did, what, did, what did Paul say? Oh, wretched man that I am. That's what that's what knowing the law, statute, and commandment does. It makes you acknowledge that you ain't shit. Yeah, yeah. I got something real quick. Yeah. This is Matthew 23 and 12. It says, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Right. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. That's it, man. You, you, there's no way around it. There's no way up yeah. but to go down first, man. You, you still you still in Syria, bro? Yeah. Can you keep going? <clears throat> Verse five. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Right. Gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. When you when you're in a furnace, are you proud? No. Oh, it's the hot heat. You're not screaming in, 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 in pride. You're screaming in pain. But what is it doing? It's 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 it's, it's purifying you. Keep going. He says, uh, believe in him, and he will help thee. Honor thy will all right, and trust in him. Right. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, right. and go to the side, lest he fall. Right. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your word shall not fail. Right. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good, and for everlasting joy and mercy. Right, right. You, you hope for good. You're not promised good. That's right. Good, good is not promised to you. Happiness is not promised to you. Suffering is what you what you're promised, and you hope for good out of that suffering. You're not you're not the Lord don't owe you shit. What about grace? The nerve. You're only asking because you want to be a demon. Yep. The Lord don't owe us nothing, man. He is not a genie in a lamp. You can rub and make three wishes. You work for him. Not, not vice versa. People thinking that the the Yahweh Hashem is a is a is a servant to us. No. We work for Him to glorify Him. And the only way you can understand that is if you're broken down first. That's the only way you can understand it. You can't you you there's no way around it. We all have had to have a situ have to have a situation where we was low, man. Whether it been financially, whether it been with a woman, whether it been uh with a brother. We all been in a situation where we had to be brought low. And it keeps happening. It doesn't just stop. That's right. And the and the and the more you learn, the more you the more you grow, the more the suffering becomes uh uh, uh in the forefront. Intensify. And Int thank you, bro. The more the suffering becomes intensified. I got a scripture. I got one as well. Go ahead. <laughs> I got uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And I start at verse 8. And this is Paul. It says, For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it may, might depart right. from me. Right. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. That's right. That's right. For my strength is made perfect. Right. So and look how, look how great a man Paul was. Because he was suffering. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, infirmities right? That the power of Yahweh may rest. Right. Have you me. been reading the scriptures? So you 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 hope for good. You hope to have happiness somewhere sprinkled in there. Let's just say uh, when you come to this, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, for temptation. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. You have yeah. you have moments. Of, of of cheer, right? Yep. Like even the Lord Yahweh Shai joked with with the sons of, of Zebedee when he called them the sons of thunder. He was joking with them. Yep. Oh, you had those moments of joy, but his life was was immersed in suffering. Yeah, you're gonna have moments of joy and happiness, but this this truth is not to make you feel good about yourself. Why 
Why would you feel good about yourself and, and you and you fucked off on your on your husband, so to speak? That's it. Why would you feel good about that? You're not supposed to feel good about yourself. You're supposed to be uh, made to feel low. I got this, up. this is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, <coughs> brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Hashem Shah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh Hashem right. Shah, which is your reasonable service. That's our reasonable service, to make our bodies a sacrifice, to endure the suffering, man. Yeah. To, like the scriptures say, uh, to bear your cross, man. That's right. That's right. You see, we're, 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 we're bearing our cross. That's what you're here for. You're not here to make you, to, to, to bolster your self-esteem. Will you have moments of feel good because the truth makes you feel strong and powerful because you, you're able to orate certain things? Yeah, you'll have moments of, of happiness, but that's not the intent. The intent is to break us down so that we can be raised up, man. Could, uh, go, let's go to um, uh, 1 Corinthians 15. I want to make this point. Oh, yeah. From the top. I want to make this. Um, you know what? Yeah. 1 Corinthians. Uh, no. Don't go from the top. Go from where it says that there are bodies celestial and, and bodies okay. terrestrial. Come, come. Read from there. Yep. 1 uh, Corinthians. What verse is that? Uh, 30, okay. 30, 38, 39. Okay. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 38, But the Most High giveth it a body, as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. Right. All flesh is not the same flesh, right. but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. Let me, let me, let me say this real quick while it was in my mind. Mm -hmm. This is what, what the script, when the scriptures say that the angels were changed into a lower state, right? That's, that's the purpose of it. That's the purpose of it, to break you down. Because we were Israel was, was made to be glorified, right? Mm -hmm. But before we could be glorified in perfection, we had to be, <coughs> be, be made to suffer. Okay. And, 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 and I'm sorry, brother, the elder Yaipov, he made this uh, observation. That we were put in this captivity so we could understand what good is, so we could understand what righteousness is. This, this, the function of this slavery was to, to clean us. This is the heat. That was the purpose of this captivity, man. I'm sorry, bro. I got something real quick just to back you up. This yep. is 2 Timothy 2. I'm going to start at verse 11. It said, It is a faithful saying, but if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Mm. If we suffer, mm. we, also, we shall also oh, reign with him. That's if we deny him, he also will deny that's us. That's it. That's it. And when, how, how do you deny him? By denying the suffering. Mm -hmm. That's how you deny him. You, wait, the, the scriptures say that we got to be in like mind with the Lord Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. right? So, hold on, you going to deny the suffering that I'm giving you? Oh, you, all right, I'm going to, the, I'm telling. Mm -hmm. And that's what the scripture talks about, about that man that put his hand to the plow and looking back. Right. Basically, he's not, he's not, basically. He's, he's not willing to work. Not, yeah. He's not willing to work. The work is the suffering, man. That's right. That's where, that's where the suffering comes from. Not, not you being sedentary. And you just waiting, oh, my life sucks because it, I'm just not doing nothing. No, the, you, 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 you attempt, right? And then you, in your attempt, there's suffering there. Oh, yeah. Oh, second Ezra 7, verse 6, there was also another thing, a city is built, is a city is building and set in a broad field mm. and it's full of all mm. good things. Mm. The entrance thereof is narrow and it's set in dangerous place to fall, yep. like as if there was a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water, so like you, so like you. No, it's okay, bro. It says, uh, and only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, yeah. so small, so small that there could, there could be only one right. man go there once. Right. That, that small path is not an easy path. Can you imagine if you were, if you were tight roping and you had fire on one side yeah. and, and deep water on the other side? Would, would you, would you call that suffering? Yes. That would be some mental anguish for your ass, wouldn't it? <laughs> you, 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 can you imagine that? You and then you, oh, because you, you, you know, you miss, you make a misstep. That's you'd be suffering the whole time, the whole way down the road. You'd be suffering. And then can shake you up. Right, right. Then when you get down into the middle where the where the rope is weakest, oh man, you 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 lose your mind, man. Uh, but 
verse 9, mm -hmm. if the city now were deemed unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, mm. how shall he receive his inheritance? Mm. You know, I'm so so. You gotta pass that danger, man. Mm. Suffering's a requirement. It's a requirement. It's a necessity. It's a necessity. And you got if you once once you once you understand that you get comforted because you there's a there you grow up thinking of oh, I don't want to die I don't want to I don't want this to happen I don't want that to happen but when you when you understand that those things have to happen like for instance. Uh, a, a pearl becomes uh, a pearl under strenuous circumstances. Mm -hmm. The the clam is <clears throat> rolling that sand around in its in its in its mouth, and that's what makes the the shiny pearl at the end. Yep. Diamonds are made in in strenuous circumstances. All the all the uh, precious stones that we have on Earth, they're made in strenuous circumstances, high pressure, high heat uh, circumstances. And that's what makes them beautiful stones when they're picked out, man. That's right. When you go to pick out some amethyst, that was that was a, a, a high strenuous activity that made that stone. That's right. And once it's out and it's beautiful, then and then and then what happens? You, you you're not gonna just take a raw piece of amethyst and hang it from your neck. Nah. You got to put it through some more strenuous like activity to make it look it good. Yeah, polish it up, cut it in the right way. Right. No size so now there's more to, to, to reach an, another level. It's already beautiful mm -hmm. in and of itself, but to reach another level of beauty, you got to go through pain again. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how we are. We right. Are the rawest form. Right. Of that, that beautiful stone. Right. So that's to right. speak. And the Lord is, is now polishing us. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got uh, it says, uh, there's a saying that always says, uh, pressure make diamonds and pressure burst pipe. That's right. That's right. So that's the right. Lord compares us to lively stone. So obviously, in order for you to be shy, you got to go to pressure. That's right. That's right. That's it, man. Just mm -hmm. yes, yes, get this right. It's yeah. Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. That's right. Yeah. So. That's right. You're going you're gonna to be you're gonna be in pain, man. You're going to suffer. Suffering is, is, is the, the only thing that's promised to you. You, and, and and you you better hope that the Lord takes that suffering and, and, and builds you into something. And you still want that in uh, Corinthians the fifth? Yeah, yeah, keep going. So like it, brother. I apologize. Uh, first Corinthians uh fifteen verse forty. Yeah. There are also celestial bodies yeah. and bodies ter terrestrial. Right. But the glory of the celestial is one is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Yeah. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon. Right. And another glory of the stars, for one star different from another star in glory. Yep. Yeah. So also is the resurrection of the dead. Right. It is sown in corruption. It is it is sown in corruption. Right. Go ahead. It is raised in corruption. Right. So what does that mean? It's sown in corruption. When you to to get a flower, yeah. what has to happen? You have to put the seed down yeah. before it grows up. Yeah. Right. Keep <clears throat> going. Come. On. I'll read that again. Uh, so yeah. also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. Yep. It is raised in, right. in corruption. What is the corruption? The corruption is the suffering. Mm -hmm. Right? And it is raised it, it is raised incorruptible. Can I mention something real quick? Yep. You mentioned about the seed when you put it in the earth and it, and it goes down in you know, order for the, the plant to go up. Yep. And a lot of work happens underneath the ground. Yeah. So it shows that's what yeah. the suffering that you go yeah. for in your spare time all the yeah. long time. That's yeah. what, you know? that's that's what's yeah. building no, you when nobody thing. sees you. Mm -hmm. When nobody see all they see is the rose. Mm -hmm. All they see is the, the lily, mm -hmm. right? But they didn't see all the work that went on underneath, all that suffering you had to go through, breaking through hard soil and mm -hmm. tr trying to reach up to the top to get that sunlight and, and those yeah. nutrients from the uh, from the water, yeah. right? I got one real quick. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 verse 8 sin. Yep. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed to us. That's mm -hmm. right. You won't get the glory without the suffering. And this, we, 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 the, suffer, the, the glory is going to be so great that we're going to be like, damn, I don't even think I don't want to do enough. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I think of when I think of the scripture. Like the, 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 the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that should be revealed in us. That means the glory is going to be so great that this suffering is nothing. I was going to complain too. Right. <laughs> but it's necessary, man. It's right. necessary. Please. And then we'll go back to Corinthians. This is James 1 and uh, 1. Yep. It says, uh, James, the servant of Yahweh Shah and of the Lord Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, yep. right, 
to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. It's greeting, my brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Right. You know, because right. like you said, right. That's what's going to make us flourish and be who we're supposed to be. I, I, uh, one of the apostles told me this story about a, another apostle. He said, you have to learn to love pain. pain. That's it. You got to learn to love it because it's it's necessary. We've been taught that pain is bad, but there's been there's been nothing success or that can be considered success that has happened in your life that didn't come with some suffering. That's it. You think you think you think. Uh, look at let's let's. I'll keep it in the scriptures. You you take the 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 apostle Paul for for instance, the greatest apostle, right? But he suffered the most. And he told you, I had shipwreck, mm -hmm. I was, I was uh, 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 whipped, stoned, right? He tells you all. He was. What did he say? I will glory in my infirmities. Mm -hmm. yeah. the things that made him weak, the things that weakened him, because in those things, in those break, in those things breaking him down, he was the he was the oh, great man, mm -hmm. right? It says in, in um, verse three. It says, yeah. knowing this that. The trying of your faith work is patience. The trying of your faith work is patience, right? Patience is, is an important thing to have. Why? Because we need patience to wait for the Lord. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. Yep, that's right. Go ahead. But let patience have her perfect work. That's right. That ye may be perfect and entire, mm -hmm. wanting nothing. Wanting nothing, man. Because when you when you when you finally attain salvation, you 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 want for nothing. Right. But how do you get to that salvation? You have to be accepted first. And how do you get to that acceptance? Through suffering, man. That's what grace is for. Grace ain't for you, grace ain't for you to feel good. Mm, the, the Lord just, mm, he just bring his grace upon me. No, that shouldn't make you feel good. What's happening in the church, man? What are y'all, that's funny I'm saying, what are y'all learning in there? I spent my whole childhood in here. <laughs> I got to know, Elder Taha, he was saying they, they meant to have patience, mm. they're free to walk around. Mm. Mm. That's it. That's real quick. This is Job 2, and um, we start at verse 6. It says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thy hand to save his life. So went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord, and smote Job with sore boils, mm. and the sore of his foot unto his crown. Mm. And he took him a potsherd, potsherd, and scraped himself with him, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the most high and die. Mm. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaking. What shall what shall we yeah. receive good at the hand of the most high? And shall, and shall we not receive evil? Mm. And all this did, jo did not Job sin with his lips. That's it. That's it. You, how do you expect to have good without the bad? Oh. This is where that saying comes from. Take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. Good like good is not is not guaranteed to you. It's not, but you know what it is? The suffering, mm -hmm. the bad, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so when that good do come around, you learn to appreciate, appreciate Correct. You learn to appreciate and Correct. cherish it because if you, you knew what you had to go through Correct. to get to that other side. Right, because you, you imagine, right? Look, look, at, look at how we behaved when the Lord just gave us the land. Mm -hmm. We didn't appreciate it, obviously. We sinned, right? We worshiped other gods. We, we dealt with the other nations. Right? All these things. Because the Lord just gave it to us. We say, you know what? I got you. I know what to do with you now. I'm gonna make you work for it. Right? And then we had to we had to work for it in suffering. See? What, what, what time is it, bro? We got oh, nine forty two. Wow. I gotta fly. I gotta wow. fly when you have I, I, I swore it was about 15 minutes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we got to keep going with that. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. And I got one real quick. Yeah, please. Uh, um, and then if you can, can we go back to uh, Corinthians? I'm going to read this one, though. Read, this, what, read the one you have. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm on. Uh, Second Chronicles uh, chapter 7 and uh, 14. Yeah. Uh, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves mm. and pray and seek my face and mm. turn from their wicked mm. ways, then will I hear from heaven right. and will forgive their right. sin yeah. and will heal their land. And you need either, you, either you, you get down or you, you, lay, down. Or you lay down, That's right? It. The Lord is going, if you don't want to be humble, right? If you don't want to humble yourself, the Lord will humble you. I got a quick one. It, it's kind of, kind of a read. This is Luke 15 and 11. It says, um, 
And he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that, that, that followed to me. And he divided that's divided just, unto, great mm -hmm. and he divided unto them his living, and not many and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Right. Who's that talking about? Israel. Mm -hmm. right. he, the Lord just gave it to us, right? Mm -hmm. We just we were riotous with it, right? Keep going. Verse fourteen. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. Mm -hmm. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to uh, feed swine. And he and he would fain, so like, and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, "How many hired servants of my father, of my fathers, have bread enough to spare?" If I may, that was the last of acknowledgement. Now that you're sick, now that you need help, now that you came to your senses, you're like, oh, oh, well, shit. Oh, you know That's a bad man over there. That's a bad okay. man over there. That's it, yeah. You, and like, uh, an alcohol, uh, they said, uh, in the middle of you to get healed, you have to acknowledge your fault first. That's it, bro. That's what the Lord wa wants you and to do. Why, why, so why does that work? Why does the, that principle and those AA meetings work? Because it's a biblical principle. It's, simple, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a godly thing to say, I have to acknowledge I'm doing something wrong before I can get out of the wrong that I'm doing. That's right. And and to do that, you got to be in a contrite spirit to say I fucked up. I'm yeah. doing something wrong. Man. Good. And it says, um, continue on. It says, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Mm. Make me as one of thy high mm. Hey, that's it, Elder. If I may ask, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got it, brother. That's what, it. that's what you just said. The Lord don't owe us nothing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, once you once you you know you go off, once you come back, you're supposed to pretty much uh uh uh. Not exalt yourself as as an Israelite, like, but like right. take the L. Like, right. we, we know we fucked up, or Lord, have mercy on us. Because he, because because he, he, in his in his in his suffering, he said, "If I if I even, even my father's servants right. got bread, I don't got shit. Yeah, yeah. And he gave me all his goods. Yeah. All right, so at least I'll I'll just be a servant. That's I don't right. even need to be up where I was. Just let me be a servant so I can get something to eat. Hey. Right? That's right. Who, who who's else? Who else's acknowledgement was like that? The woman at the table. She said. She so, said, "The crumbs that fall from thy table, I'm not worthy to eat." That's right. Right? Yeah. That was that was an acknowledgement of her of her of her loneliness. Yeah. Man, that's right. that? and really, really was symbolic of the nation of Israel that's right. That's right. eating the crumbs from the Lord. Yeah, that's right. right, and which is which is which is related to this parable right here. Mm -hmm. As the scriptures say, uh, "Before honor comes from right? mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, verse twenty. It says that he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Mm -hmm. And the son said unto his father, Father, I have sinned against thee and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, oh, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and, and shoes on his feet. Mm -hmm. and bring hither the fatted, the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. Hey, if I may, I tell the hey, hey, you. Know, you just says, uh, if you have 90, 99 sheep, one of them goes straight. Right? If the one that came back, you, you just over him more than the 99 that you had already. That's, right. That's exactly what, what the Lord, uh, uh, the, when you come to the fall, the Lord rejoices. The Lord That's pretty right. much uh, endow you with wisdom so that you can be able to uh, uh, to keep going with the, with the ministry. You know? That's right. First, That's basically what this brother just read, the scripture before. Yeah. You know, they go right hand in hand with that. That's right. Oh, verse 24 says, For this my son was dead mm -hmm. and is alive again. Yeah, he hey, was... if I mean that's uh, Ezekiel 37 the chapter. Yes, the, right. body the, the body of the body of the of the dry right. bones. You know what I'm saying? We was once dead, we was we didn't know who we were. Yeah, we had been discontinued from from our heritage. We lost we lost everything, our culture, our name, our everything had been taken away from us. Now the Lord is giving us uh, 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 who we are, come by come, little by little, you know. Mm -hmm. it says he will send you upon send you, yeah. right? Skin upon skin, right. little by little, little by little. Little by little. It says he was lost and is found, mm -hmm. and they began to be married. Now his eldest son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh into the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. He said unto him, Thy brother is coming. Thy father had killed the fattest calf because he had received him safe and sound. Mm. Right, but I'm saying like that. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, that was a good. Yeah, man. Good, and that, so you, you gotta acknowledge 
that, that, that some we was given a lot as a nation of Israel. We are the princes of power, right? But imagine if you think of think of kids who were born into money. They don't appreciate it because that's all they've ever known, right? And the only way, like you, you got this guy Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? He, he became a success story, right? But he had a hard upbringing, you know, pissing and shitting in an outhouse and all that different type of stuff. And he says he tries to teach his kids that st those same character building traits, but he, they'll yeah. never learn mm -hmm. what they he learned know. because they they were born into his his success. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. right? He had to go through those things, right? And it's mm -hmm. the same thing with us. We were given, we were we were in the same way the rich kid, right? Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, "Oh, you, oh, y'all niggas think y'all are special? Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it away, yeah. right?" And if you if you think of the the travel of Job, right? Job started out. With everything. everything. Mm -hmm. He had everything. He was saying, was like, yeah, of course he's deep worship. You give him everything. Mm -hmm. What did he do? He took it. He took it. Mm -hmm. Right? And then and then he Job acknowledged, look, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. How shall we receive as good and not as bad? And what did the Lord do? He gave it back to him, man. Many folds, yeah. Right? Yeah. Man. Beautiful. Man. Yeah. That's it, man. That's it. Um Wow, man. Wow. Um, so, yeah, man. Grace, it, it, the function of it was to give you time to acknowledge your offense. That's right. Not to make you feel good about yourself. Not to use it as a cloak of maliciousness. But to, to, be, to be low, man. To be made low. So that the Lord will acknowledge you. So that you can be accepted. Right? So with that... We want to give all praises to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe